Hello, I'm Ron Clark. They're doing three paths today, the three paths of Tiferet, the three paths that, that create Tiferet. First path is from Kether, and it's the path of Beth. Um, the letter Beth means house in uh, Hebrew, and it has a very significant role in Hebrew Kabbalah. Um, it is the first letter of the Torah, so it, it contains the whole Torah. It contains all the wisdom um, of Kabbalah. Um, and its attribute, its zodiacal attribute, is the planet of Saturn, the, the great limit of human experience. So, let's just start off with Beth. Hmm, Kether. The eye. The all-pervading eye. The whiteness. The sameness. I. I. I look down the path of Beth Tiferet, and see the realm of individual cells of time and space below me. I travel down Beth. Oh, oh, there is a multiplication of myself, an infinite number of times. I am so small, so finite, so solitary. Oh, I try to fit myself into such a small space, but there are an infinite number of me. I am filling the universe. I am filling everything with myself. Oh, I come down into Tiferet. I am everywhere, just like in Kether, but uh, it, I'm little pieces, little bits. There's an infinite number of me everywhere. I am everywhere. They are all me. I am all of them. I am in every one, an infinite number of times. Spread out everywhere. Oh, but I am like chopped up into little units, little bits, little tiny, infinitesimally small bits of me, but I can fill each one of them at the same time. Oh, and I look back up Beth and climb up Beth. Oh, there is a liberation happening. I am becoming one. I am merging with all of my brothers and sisters and cousins and children and grandparents. We are all rising up to become one. Oh, I, I am one. Looking down myself as many. So strange, so odd, that I am infinitely small and yet infinitely large. I. That's an experience descending into uh, such a small confined little space and then rising again to this grand liberation and it's all I uh, so the next brief path will be Zayim Zayim means sword in Hebrew. 
it is a sword. It looks like a sword. <laughs> um, in its astrological uh, symbol is Gemini, the twins. So there's uh, double-sided here. It's the Janus face. Two sides to everything. Gemini. Okay. Zayin starts in Chokmah the land of essential meaning, the realm of essential meaning, infinite essential meaning, coming down into Tiferet, the solitary selves. So, oh, come on. Ah, everything is meaning. I am meaning. I mean, I must express my meaning. I am Hogla. And I look down to Tiferet, down into the multitude, the multitude. And I descend into Tiferet, ooh, the sword of central meaning. And I touch, I touch, I communicate my essential meaning into this realm, into each one of these individual cells, these solitary cells, and each one contains a portion of my essential meaning. Each one is a unique expression of part of my essential meaning, and it is twofold. It has two faces. Each time I impress my essential meaning, it has two faces. There is a positive and a negative to each. Each individual self contains these two sides in its manifestation. And I, I give my essential meaning to each individual, each intiferat. Ah, oh, yes, I receive my essential meaning. Oh, it is me. It is the whole of me, essential meaning, communicated from Chokmah, the, the Father, Chokmah, and his electric essential meaning fills me. I rise up along that electric current of essential meaning. Ooh. And I feel all of my essential meaning and experience it fully as I rise into Hukla. Father of my Tiferet. My meaning communicated into the universe of time and space. Here you can explore your own essential meaning quite thoroughly. And that takes time and a very patient exploration of Zayim. Yeah, okay. Now, <clears throat> the third path of Tiferet is Cheth. Feel it in the back of your throat when you say the letter. Heth. Heth. <clears throat> Heth means corral or fenced enclosure. And really, you will see why. Um, its uh, astrological attribute is Cancer and ruled by the moons, the only sign that is ruled by the moon. So it's very significant. Heth. Cancer. 
doom, a corral. It goes from Bina, the realm of essential form, into Tiferet, the realm of individual selves. the essential meaning from Hokma and give form to it. I express essential meaning in every form filled with the light of Kether, the I. I am form. I am that. All forms. And I am pregnant with form needing to give birth to all these forms. And I give birth through the path of Heth. It is my birth canal, and I give forms. Oh, I give birth to all the multitude of individual selves that fill Tiferet. They are all my children. I give them each their form, their perfect form that lives on in the world, the realm, the universe of time and space. I am the universe of time and space in Tiferet. I am all the children of Bina essential forms here to incarnate in this realm of time and space, of choice, of duality, of sequence. I am different, the child, the children of Bina and and of Hokma. I am all the children of the divine, supernal, the divine, the infinite. And I am here in this little individual self, my solitary self. I experience all of this as a solitary self. And I climb back up that canal of birth. And I reach up into the realm of essential form. And I see here my own greater self. That's what I touch upon first. I saw him. Self, and I merge into the realm of essential form, undifferentiated, essential form, potential, essential form. And I release my own identity. Beth, we learn all about our true self, what I call here the greater self, the undifferentiated self in Bina. So those are the paths that create Tiferet. Uh, next time we have the paths of Gajula. Till then, bye-bye.